What's up guys, welcome to season two of Snakes and Trails. My name is Tyler Carlson and today I'm out here in central New Mexico looking for the banded rock rattlesnake. It should be a really cool time and I'm really excited to see what we find. All right guys, so I don't know if you know this, but that shot in the intro, the drone shot where it's backing up and looking down on the mountain where I'm standing there with Graham, uh, Chris and Nathan, um, that shot was in the same place where we're looking for snakes today. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you some clips. I didn't get enough content that day filming to actually make a whole episode out of it, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some clips from that day just cause it was so much fun to hang out with those guys. All right guys, so this summer I uh, took full-time school and that was totally exhausting, but this fall I had the opportunity to work in the film industry as a snake wrangler. I would just walk around movie sets all day looking for snakes. It was the perfect dream job for me. So anyway, I'm meeting up with a couple of the people I got to meet at that job today. Um, I'm meeting up with Candace and Tori. I've never met Tori, but I've met Candace and she's super cool. Um, and it should be a really good time just to get out and look for some snakes. What's up guys? So yesterday after a good bit of hiking with Candace and Tori, uh, we only saw one snake. It was a little black tail rattlesnake that got away in a hole in the rocks. Uh, it was a bit of a bummer, especially because Candace didn't get to see it. Um, and also that you guys didn't get to see it. So anyway, um, after that, I drove down here to the Black Range and spent the night. So um, I'm gonna do some hiking around here this morning and see what I can't find. guys I was out here earlier this season with my friend Graham it was uh, episode 5 where we managed to find all those banded rock rattlesnakes but he was out here hiking with him and uh, he jumped on a patch nose snake that we saw and when he did that he dropped my tongs these exact tongs and I actually just managed to find them along the trail these things have been here for six months it's just crazy they've been here for so long anyway really cool to be able to find them again I'm gonna go ahead and uh, keep using these things pretty sweet all right guys, I just found my next little critter of the day. I actually found it cruising this road right here and I saw these bands on the road. So I of course thought, oh my gosh, I found an Arizona Mountain King. I jumped out of the car and well, what did I find but this little guy. It's not an Arizona Mountain King snake, but it's a cool little lizard species called Elgaria king eye, the Arizona alligator lizard. These guys are really neat, they're coppery colored with really pretty banding and such a long slender tail. 
Anyway, I don't want to bother this guy too much, so I'm going to come get some closer up footage for you guys and just let him go. Alright guys, guess what? I'm out here with my first snake of the day. Check this out. This guy is a banded rock rattlesnake, Crotalus lepidus clobberi, and they're such cool little snakes. This one's gray with black bands and little green accents on his back. Such a cool little treat of a snake to find. I was hiking up the trail and he was sitting right there and he buzzed me and tried to get away into some uh, cover. What's interesting about these snakes is that they're protected in the state of Arizona, um, but since I'm in New Mexico, I'm actually legally able, able to handle them. If I was in Arizona, this would be strictly a hands-off snake. So I'm going to get some photos and video of this guy, and we'll let it go. <music> Alright guys, so I drove up a little bit north this afternoon in the state uh, from the Black Range where I was earlier today so that I could look for hognose snakes. It'd be especially cool to see a hognose snake because they've skunked me all year long. I still haven't seen a hognose. Anyway, let's see what happens. Alright guys, so I caught the first snake of my night. Check this out. It's a little baby bull snake. These things are really, really neat snakes and um, this is a little baby, like literally it just hatched. Um, it's a really unique looking bull snake too. It's probably one of the shortest I've seen with one of the busiest patterns I've seen around here. So anyway, I'm going to get some footage of him and we'll let him go. <music> Alright guys, so this is it. This is the Plains Hognose, Heterodon Nasicus. They're one of the coolest snakes and uh, they're named after this little raised rostral scale. Their nose has a little scale that's going up like, like so. Anyway, they're really neat snakes. He's actually pretending to be a little cobra right now. He's uh, flattening out his neck. Um, they're one of the most dramatic snakes you'll ever find. Um, they always pretend to be a lot more feisty than they are, and sometimes they'll even play dead in order to evade uh, being eaten. This guy isn't playing dead at all, but he is trying to be a little cobra. Anyway, I'm going to get some photos and videos of this guy, and we'll let him go. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching another episode of Snakes and Trails. It was really a blast to be able to see banded rock rattlesnakes and my first hognose snake of the year. But unfortunately, it's getting to be that time where it's just too cold to road cruise at night for snakes. Um, and it's really only good to look for snakes in the daytime. So I'm going to call this my last episode of the season in the New Mexico area. But big news, big announcement. I'm doing one last out of town trip for the year. I'm going to Arizona, Nevada, and California. It should be a really awesome trip and I'm going to get three more episodes this season for you guys to watch. So thank you so much for watching this season of Snakes and Trails. I hope you really love the last three episodes. 